I like the fact that the brothers of David were there. They were there. But what's the difference? Eliab was there. Bigger, mightier. They were trained. But it's not about training. It's not about training. It's not about, about appearance or being equipped. The, what differentiated David was that there's a young man who remembered there's a covenant. Something triggered in his mind. Something. Something triggered in his mind. Something was in the spirit. Something. Listen. You will frustrate yourself when you are forcing people to clap for you when you kill the lion. You will frustrate yourself forcing men to clap for you when you kill the bear. Many times, many of us announce the victories that should be hidden too early. You will frustrate yourself wanting people to clap for you because you killed the bear. In fact, that was the time we even knew that David killed the bear. In other words, he killed a lion and sat upon that secret. He killed a lion and didn't even tell his brother. Imagine killing a lion and walking home as if nothing happened. You just killed the lion, went home on a regular day. Shepherd boy came home. David, what happened today? Oh, I, I took the sheep out and they came back home and did not mention what had happened. He killed a lion and swallowed it. Was not expecting an applause. Didn't want his father to say, I, I, I should think he should want a reward from his father. Because the lion came against the sheep, he stomached it. There are things in your life that your mouth should keep. There are things about your life that your mouth should keep. He stomached it. Killed the bear, sat on it. Nobody knew. In fact, even when he was doing that, he did not know that Goliath was coming. All he knew was that, as for this one, it's just my thing with God. I don't need to tell anybody. He kept quiet about it. It was until July, Goliath showed up and he not told Saul, the God who delivered me out of the lion and the bear. There are things in your life. There are things in your life. Hear me now. There are things in your life not meant for your WhatsApp status. I know it's 12 midnight and you feel you are depressed. Doesn't mean that your status should read depressed alone. There are things in your life that's not meant for your WhatsApp status. I know Facebook asks you what is on your mind, but not everything that's on your mind should be on Facebook. There are things that you could not take to the phone, but you take to the throne. Worship with us every Sunday at People Like Christ Ministries. God has a word for you.